America is a country of immigrants, and that includes your food. Immigration is the pulse of our nation, the heartbeat that drives almost all of our culture. It's in our language, our music, our customs, and especially on our plates. In Americanize Me, we're getting a taste of our melting pot, salad bowl, whatever your preferred metaphor. And today we're headed to Missouri. So you may not have known that Springfield, Missouri, where we are, is known locally and regionally for cashew chicken. And that's because of one family, the Leong family. They actually invented the dish back in the 1960s. And we're gonna talk to them about what it's meant to have such a huge impact on this city and on the region as a whole. Everyone goes, well, it's not really Chinese food. Well, Chinese cuisine, it was adapted for whatever regions. You know, you have the Hunan province, you have the uh, uh, Sichuan, uh, Cantonese. Uh, now I look at it, Springfield knees, you know. Uh. It's amazing the impact my dad's had on, uh, on the Midwest. When he came over here, he was 19, and then became a U.S. citizen. Uh, war II broke out, and my dad, he joined the United States Army, and he fought in the European theater. So uh, after he was discharged out of the Army, he had a restaurant in Pensacola, Florida, and uh, a very prominent neurosurgeon based out of Springfield, Missouri. He was so enamored with my dad's food. He said, oh, it's like home. He said, you have to help me uh, open this uh, a restaurant in Springfield. My dad, where the hell is Springfield, Missouri, you know? <laughs> That's when they opened up on West Sunshine, Leong's Tea House. Unfortunately, uh, a month before Leong's Tea House was going to be uh, open, it was dynamited with 10 sticks of dynamite. Wow. <laughs> yeah, how many restaurants have to overcome that? With the cashew chicken, a customer came in and said, can you do something different? Do you have any specials? And, and uh, my dad goes, uh, well, you know, he took the chicken nuggets and uh, uh, deboned it and uh, lightly battered it and fried it and then put the Asian sauce, the oyster sauce, the cashew nuts and green onions. And he served to the guy. He was so enamored by it uh, that uh, he brought in the next day, you know, five of his other friends, and so the dish just kept on taking off. And has uh, to this day, it's almost 60 percent of our 60, 70 percent of our orders. Every Chinese restaurant, and even some restaurants that aren't Chinese, have it on the menu. Locals even say they put cashew chicken on pizza and in school lunches. Cashew chicken is just like. Inventing the first hamburger, everyone has their own interpretations, you know. Uh, I, I like to think that we're the original and we're still the best, but... Do you ever get sick of making it? I try to get away from it, and, and I, you know, and it's, I've come home to it, you know. I'll probably be frying chicken, cashew chicken, till the day I die, and then when I think I'm going through those pearly gates, I go walk through the gates and I'll look on the left, there'll be friars, on the right, will be chicken. I go, wait a minute, this can't be heaven, it's gotta be, you know, <laughs> hell. <laughs> well, we're just very thankful to be here in Springfield and they, they've totally embraced us and, and uh, uh, we just love this community. It's, it's, it's amazing that I, I tell people the power of cashew.